Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Ambient Lighting Palette by Hourglass. I picked up the Elephant and the Tiger, but today we're gonna concentrate on the Tiger. I'm gonna be doing some uh, demos, of course. We're gonna do some swatches. I'm gonna apply it all over my face and also my eyes. I'll share my thoughts. We'll do some comparison. We'll just do a chatty, make a video, you know, trying new Hourglass goodness. This is the first time passing by. I'm Gigi. I love to review high-end and luxury makeup. If you love that kind of content, go and click on the red button that says subscribe and also go to my Instagram because over there I do give you posted and make yourselves makeup releases all that good stuff so without further ado let's start alright you guys let's get started finally I was able to get my hands on the hourglass palettes um, I I bought them whenever they launch but I'm in Canada and I spaced out and I did not pay expedited shipping I just got them yesterday it's been over a week I know this may be all news reviews are already out but you know what I'm still here to review it for you I'm still gonna do demos I got the elephant and I got the tiger but I do want to do dedicated reviews dedicated videos on each one I just feel like it's needed especially with my complexion I know a lot of you go with it and so I want to make sure that I'm giving you all the info and the demo and since reviews are already out you know what I mean I just might as well take my time um today we're gonna be talking all about the tiger one I am going to apply it all over my face and eyes and then we'll just compare with other two palettes from our glass that I have from previous years I just have these two to compare these two and yeah that's what we're going to be doing also I am trying a new microphone I really Hope this works out. I'm trying to minimize that out of focus noise from the camera every time that we go near the camera. I'm trying to minimize it. Um, so I'm working on that. I hope that this sound is good in today's video, but we are going to wait until I edit it to really know what's going on. Anyhow, these palettes are already available on um, Sephora if you're interested and it's good news because the Sephora sale is coming real soon so you're able to get them with a good discount. These retail for 107 Canadian dollars and they're their ambient lighting unlocked palettes. We have the tiger, we have the elephant and we have the butterfly. The butterfly is the lightest of all then we get the elephant and for the medium spectrum and then the tiger for the uh, tan to deep complexions. So I got the two darkest because my complexion is best suited for those. Uh, these are going to be limited edition and they're featuring a photoluminescent technology um, and it is an exclusive package by artist Katie Scott. I mean, I have to tell you, these are absolutely beautiful. All detail of this painting, I'm just in love with that. I've never seen such a beautiful thing. I really, really love it. Um, in the palettes, we are going to get blushes, um, finishing powders. Some of them have a bronzer. Not every palette has a bronzer. So depending on the palette that you pick, you're gonna get different shades. So within the palette, we are going to get this one. It's going to be translucent light. This is a finishing powder. It's meant to be a finishing powder for deep to tan complexions. Then we're gonna get the Brilliant Glow Strop Light. We're going to get this blush in the shade of Burning Glow. And this beautiful shade is also a strobing powder. It's called Divine Strobe. Also getting this strobing lighting and then a blush. So those are the powders that we get in the palette. Um, the palettes are also customizable. So if you did want it, the colors, but a different print from you know the palette, you can go ahead and do that on our glasses website. I think that, that was pretty cool, but I sticked with the tiger for the deep and the medium for the elephant. I didn't want to switch them out. Let's I go ahead and start you know the application. I am going to begin with some bronzer which is not really a bronzer. This is as I mentioned a finishing powder. So I am going to be applying this beautiful deep shade here as a bronzer. So I'm going to take my BK Beauty brush and I'm going to apply it everywhere I would normally bronze. And woo, it's pigmented. It's 
and this is beautiful. These strobing powders are perfect. They're, they are never streaky. They just really melt onto the face and they make you sculpted and pretty very, very easily. I really like them. So this is perfect for someone with medium complexion and lighter. Even if you're lighter complexion, I feel like you can still get away with it. Just go in with a light hand. Just apply a little bit more here to build it up. And this is absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty and softening. It is a beautiful shade for bronzing. As I said, if you have medium to tan complexion. For blush, we're going to go into the orange shade, of course. I'm gonna take this Synergy Soft Cheek Brush to apply it. Woo, pick one good. Ooh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Hold on. Let's rewind. <laughs> wow. That was pigmented and my brush just picked up a ton of that product. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. It's looking better. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. No. I think it's good. Wow. That was some pigmentation. Tap off your brush, be careful with this orange blush because it is quite pigmented. Let's apply it on the other side. For highlight, we're going to go with this one right here. Oh, so beautiful and wet. I'm going to apply this guy here just to see what it looks like on the other side. And this is pretty and so look at that. If you don't want the metallic, like gold metallic, you can totally go with the middle shade, which is very pretty as well. But I am going to even it out with a little bit of the metallic one here. Now I'm going to use the shades on my eyes. We're going to take this copper shade and apply it all over our lid. You can see this is quite beautiful. Very pigmented. I take the bronzer, I'm gonna diffuse that on my crease and my outer V. I'm gonna apply that same shade on my lower lash. I'm gonna go 
with this one and I'm going to apply it in my inner corner and I'm going dry with all these shades and you can see how pigmented they are so pigmented very very beautiful and then I'm going to apply it in the center of my lid just to take down a little bit of that copper right there go back with the bronzer so let me just do the same on the other eye just finish off my makeup and I'll be right back Alrighty friends, I'm back and I finished up my eyes with a little bit of brown liner in my waterline and some mascara and then a lipstick and that's it. I feel like, I mean, I've always said it, these powders are beautiful, they're very, very flattering um they don't accentuate any texture on your skin they're just they just catch the light right to be honest they're absolutely stunning um and i feel like this palette has so much potential i feel like it is very very unique i've never seen such a unique combination of colors from hourglass ever so i do appreciate that um i was um you know kind of done with the brand to be honest in prior years because I just felt like they were in um, you know catering to deeper complexions everything was just so light so light so light now they release the three palettes instead of one or two so I love that there is three palettes I love that this is deep this is rich I feel like this is gonna be beautiful on you know deeper complexions like you even get a finishing powder for deeper complexions which is beautiful so softening on the skin and I love it for you know medium complexions like me as a bronzer I love that I feel like it's such a unique and beautiful palette I am very very pleased very pleased and um and yeah I just feel like it's super unique I love the combination of the orange it is warm but not too much you get this blush with this not uh you know it makes a, you know a little bit of balance with the palette like it's not super warm if you apply this blush you're not gonna end up with like this warm of a look and if you well the copper I mean it's a little broad but I love the eye look it just looks so soft and beautiful you're never gonna get fallout with these shades on your eyes I love that I could just bring this palette and that's all my makeup is completed of course beside the base uh, but I, I really like it I am very very impressed uh, with this palette I am high highly satisfied uh, so let's go ahead and swatch I like to swatch them um, you know live for you I am going to be inserting some daylight swatches so you're gonna be able to see that right now I was right at my window um, and so you can see those shades but now let's go ahead and do the finishing powder which is this one then we get that middle shade this middle shade is the one that I use as a highlighter on the left side of my face and I feel like it's pretty I'm not sure you'll be able to see it like really beaming because it isn't so I love that they give you the option if you want something very metallic and vivid you go ahead and use the bottom gold shade but if you wanted something more soft and beautiful but like well I put the gold at top but you know when I first showed you it looks it looked beautiful very natural and just like a uh, light from within and now let's swatch the bottom row uh, we get the highlighter which is very very pigmented extremely pigmented in gold the copper shade and then the blush let's do a better job of the blush the blush is cool tone as you can see so there you go here are the colors I I really like them. I really like the colors in this palette. So here are they with a little bit of the light hidden. There you go. 
so so pretty such a beautiful palette such a beautiful palette so let's move on to some comparisons to be honest there isn't anything this orange and this warm in previous years because I mean this palette is really tailored for deep and rich complexions so last year's palette the unlocked one which was the deepest shade. We had a pink one and then this one, the pink one is no longer in my collection. It didn't work out for me. Uh, and then we had this palette here. We got uh, two blushes and they were just pink blushes. I am going to go ahead and swatch these two for you beside this one. Um, hold on, let me do a better job in the first blush because this is quite pretty. I love a pink blush. So you can see that they're uh, in the same family scheme of pink, uh, cool tone pink. They're pretty, pretty similar. But other than that, in last year's palette, there's really, you know, nothing. Let's do the highlighter. We got a gold highlighter, which is this one. They're actually similar. Let's see, this is a little bit more uh, rose gold than this one. This is more warm and just more golden than last year's. But you know, they're similar vibe, um, but they're not quite the same shape. And then the prior year, we had this one, which is the Ghost Unlocked. And there's not really nothing in here that I could swatch to compare these two. I think that the comparisons are really gonna come from the Elephant palette, which by the way, let's line them up so you can take a look at the Elephant and that's the video that will come after this one. This is the Elephant palette. Um, I feel like, you know, it's similar to last year's so we're going to have fun comparing them um you know these two let me know prepare for this video let me know here if you wanted to see any other extra comparisons but let's put the tiger side by side i know that the tiger was the one that people were most excited about because it, it looked just so much more unique and fun and to be honest i kind of feel like i'll use the elephant a little bit more because i love pink uh but whenever i want to have fun with my looks or whenever i feel like i want to go with a really warm look this is where you know this is where it's at this is unique in my collection so i'm very very pleased and excited to have it and yeah i really really enjoy it Alrighty, friends that's it for today's video i would love to hear your thoughts what do you think of the palette what do you think of the shades in here the application the swatches any comments anything at all they're always welcome below remember links for the palette from hourglass and sephora are gonna be down there for your convenience uh yeah we'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think of the artist three and everything that i talked about in today's video let me know thanks so much you guys for your love and support do not forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye